Thank you, my lords and ladies. Yes. Jorogeregeru appearing for the Jubilee Party, which is the applicant in the application before you for joinder as an interested party, the proposed interested party in presidential petition number three, 2017, filed by the Institute for Democratic Governance against the named respondents. Our application is dated and filed on the 13th of November, and it is supported by an affidavit sworn by one Mary Karen Keegan Sorobit, who is the Deputy Executive Director and Director Legal and Compliance of the intended interested party. We have in that supporting affidavit, my lords, my ladies, set out the grounds upon which our joinder in this petition is highly merited. And just to run you through those grounds very quickly, I just want to start with what the law says. What must we demonstrate to this court so that you may admit us as an interested party? And we have recent decisions by this very court in petition number one of 2017, Raila Odinga versus IEBC and others. And you had occasion, my lord, to consider applications brought by presidential candidates. One of them was Michael Wainaina Mwaura, and the other one was Ekuru Aukot. And to consider the tests that must be met before you could admit a party as an interested party. Citing your decision in the Michael Wainaina Mwaura case, paragraph 15, you set out three tests. Firstly, that the personal interest or stake that a party has in the matter must be set out in the application. It must be an identifiable stake. Secondly, that there has the, the prejudice to be suffered by the inter, intended interested party in case of non-joinder must also be demonstrated. Finally, you see that an applicant such as that must file the submissions that it intends to rely on upon joinder. We have met all three tests, my lord. And if you look at the supporting affidavit, I will demonstrate very quickly how we have met those tests. In paragraph 6 to 15, we have shown you what our identifiable stake is. And essentially, it is this. The petition number three, which we have perused closely, deals mainly with extensive acts of violence and intimidation, which created lots of chaos and mayhem and bedlam across the country, and amounted, in effect, to very serious electoral offenses. And as far as our membership is concerned, we have given you the reasons why we think we ought to join here. And in those paragraphs, we have told you that from paragraph six, we represent the interests of our millions of members who are subjected to those threats and intimidation, actual violence. And the whole point was to stop them, to interfere with their democratic right to vote. We have shown you that in certain areas where we had made inroads, in Nyamira, Kise, Mombasa, Bungoma, and elsewhere, the whole point of that violence and intimidation directed against our membership was again to make them keep away from exercising their democratic right to vote. And we have also shown you that our members suffered extensive loss of property to life also, due to these acts of violence. And it is quite clear, therefore, that in terms of safeguarding and articulating our members' rights, we are natural parties to this petition. In paragraph 11, we tell you that our candidate was also subjected to threats, character assassination. It is all highlighted in this petition. And it is important that we come in and contribute to this. What prejudice do we suffer is as the second test is given in paragraph 12, where we say that none of the parties already enjoined in this petition as interested parties represent the special and unique interests of the members of the proposed interested party, 
Hence, we would not be in a position to highlight and submit on how the proposed interested party was directly <coughs> affected by the acts of the respondent. So if we are omitted from these proceedings, our voice will not be heard, our position will not be articulated, we will suffer, suffer grave prejudice, hence the need to bring us in. And um, in terms of the third test of submissions, we have a next to our application right at the back, an outline of the position that we would articulate in this petition, uh, and you will be able to peruse that when you retire. Very importantly, in paragraph six, we have drawn your attention to an application that we filed in this court under certificate of urgency for contempt against these respondents. Uh, our position was that they had wantonly flouted, disregarded the court order of 1st of September for the fresh elections to be held. We filed that application on the 19th of October. We have annexed it to this application. And the interesting thing is that up to now, these respondents have not even bothered to respond to that application for contempt. So in terms of demonstration of respect or disrespect for the rule of law, you can see the kind of persons we are dealing with. All in all, therefore, my lords, we have established sufficient basis why we should come in. We beg that we be admitted as an interested party and for us to participate alongside everybody else. In conclusion, we have not been served with any objection. We haven't seen any objection from any party, obviously because they think our presence here is highly merited. <laughs> <laughs>